Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Well it's such a lovely bright day today. I've been for a walk, I've done some exercise, now it's time to do some painting. The three most enjoyable things to do over the weekend. So last weekend I went back to the most amazing Moncaster Castle. I think you've seen me do paintings there before. I'll put the link up and let you see the last time I was there what painting I did. So I've made a montage of images that we saw by As you can tell by my voice and my awe of the place, I absolutely adore going around there. And so I'm going to use that as the theme for my next few paintings that I'm going to do. I've taken some pictures. Um, I've also done a sketch. So I did a sketch while I was there in the pod, in the glamping pod. Um, I'll zoom into that for you to see there's a little bit more for me to finish there but as a change from painting I wanted to do some pencil work so go back to the tonal work that I used to do when I did the motorbike and um, pencil drawing so it's a bit of a challenge when you're doing um, pencil work and um, to that of paint because you've got to really really concentrate on the tones but today I'm going to go back to painting and I have a lovely image of the castle grounds. You can see that. A little bridge with again the reflection on the water. So I've done a sketch um, and all I need to do now is get a palette ready, a new palette, get some paints ready, put some music on and start painting. I'll do the time lapse, I'll stop halfway, have a little chat, talk about the techniques and um, spend a happy Saturday painting. Speak to you soon.
Well, what a lovely Saturday afternoon. Just poured myself a glass of wine. Cheers. Have a little bit of a Halloween theme going on in the studio today. So what have I done so far? Um, from the image, like with the last um, painting that I did, there's so much foliage. And um, as as the, the season um has changed all the colors it seems to be all mixed together so really what i'm doing is i'm um i'm just looking at shadows really just looking at shadows and tone and putting that into the background i've got quite a, a big kind of centerpiece here which i won't do until right towards the end and so we have the sky done the reflection in the water's kind of done and um, so i'm just moving from the left hand corner now into the center of the page what i've got to make sure that i do which you'll be able to see as as you see the time lapse is um build the layers but put like you know just just a, a, a subtle background down before you start putting the textures on top um just so that you're not putting the textures onto a plain background and um yeah just building that up just building that up i had to i had to um get myself quite a strong yellow got myself a process yellow because everything is is quite bright in this image even though there's lots and lots of greens and um, you need to, i need a, quite a strong pigment to lighten up the greens and not use a white because if you put a white with a green it kind of changes the color so when you when you want to make the green lighter or darker you must use um the yellow to make it lighter or the blue to make it darker and building those textures again is just it really is it really is a little bit of impressionist pointillism really if you look at the wonderful artist Shura and build his techniques of pointillism over and over and over you will get that wonderful foliage and texture effect it really doesn't matter what paintbrush you use i use quite you know i do use a pointed head and a square head and then sometimes i use a, a fan really whatever you feel comfortable with find your own technique find your own comfortable zone
Everybody. Well, this has taken me some time to do this one. Um, there's so much foliage in the background, and I needed to really have some concentration of um, what was going on underneath the bridge. Do you know what? While I was doing this, crazy enough, and I keep on referring to the Impressionist, but it reminded me of Monet and uh, the lily pads, and it was something that I thought I need to get that back out again and have a little look at it. Um, so. I've, I've done all of the background, all the middle ground, and I'm just about to finish on the the front, the foreground. Um, the bridge needs doing, the reflection in the water. To be honest with you, the reflection in the water doesn't really take that much time. Um, there's a lot of abstraction in this one. And, and to be honest with you, if you're doing a detailed piece like this, um, don't worry too much about every strand of grass or every every leaf you have to really get into the pattern of it all um, choosing the colours again the reference that I've got is is really quite bright with lots and lots of yellows and yellow ochres and you can't always get that perfect tone so I'm not that bothered about it um, I'm really really happy with this one though really really happy and it's a place as you all know that I absolutely love which is Muncaster Castle so I'm going to crack on today. I'm sorry that I didn't put anything up on YouTube last week, um, simply because I've got so much going on. And if you, you know what I'm doing on the other channel, on Tins on Tour, I've got loads of motorcycle um, activities that I'm doing. So it's kind of feeding into me not being able to paint all the time. But it's still something that I absolutely love. So today I've done some yoga. The sun is just coming out. And it's definitely time to finish this piece of work and share it with you. So I'm going to do a time lapse, as always, and let you watch. Speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs> 